Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Globen and welcome to Suzhou, a city that is only 150 kilometers away from Shanghai, a city with more than 2,500 years of history. Here you find a unique blend of the past and future. I'll be showing you some of the modern highlights and wandering through the amazing classical gardens, as well as some local traditions and amazing food. This is how to start your day in Suzhou. So we are now in Zhuo Zhenyuan, in English, the humble administrator's garden. Now this is the largest classical garden in Suzhou. Spanning 5.2 hectares, built in 1509 in the Ming Dynasty, it features beautiful water scenes and green landscapes. It once belonged to Wang Xiancheng, a past governor in the Ming Dynasty. After Wang died, the garden passed through the hands of many rich and powerful over the span of five centuries. But strangely, many didn't end up well, including Li Xiuchen, the unsuccessful leader of Taiping Rebellion, making people wonder if the garden's name is unlucky. Along with many owners, each of them brought something special to the garden. It is now a top example of Zhangnan garden style and one of China's four most famous gardens. Alongside the Summer Palace in Beijing, Chengde Mountain Resort, and the Lingering Garden in Suzhou. As one of the most popular gardens, the crowd is inevitable. Even though it's on a weekday, you can see that the whole garden is completely full of tourists. The garden is split into three parts. East section is a relaxed spot with lawns and flower gardens. The central section is the real gym, with its large pound and stunning buildings. We are now walking into the residential part of the garden. This is the western section, showcasing the traditional styles of and complete with a courtyard. And bonsai is also a very important element within the classical Suzhou gardens. It not only reflects Chinese culture, but also symbolizes beauty and harmony with nature. But besides Zhuo Zhenyuan, there are also many other classical gardens in Suzhou, such as the Master of Nets Garden integrates buildings with the outdoors, and the Lion Grove Garden is famed for its stone formations. The mountain villa blends natural and man-made beauty, and also we have to mention the retreat and reflection garden on the outskirts of Suzhou. We have just arrived in Tongli Asian town, located in Wujiang district, in the outskirts of Suzhou. Now this is one of the most famous water towns in Jiangnan, China. Elaborate system of canals, along with Wujiang and Nanxun water towns, and a vibe that's straight out of a storybook, earning their nickname. Venice of the East. The Retreat and Reflection Garden, designed by the artist Yuan Long for Ren Lan Shan, is one of Tongli's most notable attractions and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you got some extra time wandering through Tongli Asian Town, would be a nice choice. Suzhou Pingtan is a traditional Chinese art form, combining storytelling and music. It became popular in Shanghai in the 19th and 20th centuries. Performers use instruments like the sanxian or pipa, and focus on long stories with singing and acting. The old town of Suzhou is surrounded by its city walls and the waterways behind me. On the other side of the city is the modern part of Suzhou, represented by its CBD and high rises. You now, the first time I drove into the CBD of Suzhou a few years ago, 
I was really surprised by its night view. I mean, it was full of skyscrapers and my impression of Suzhou at that time was completely a Asian water town. Now we are in the center of Suzhou CBD area and anchoring the CBD is the gate to the east, a 66 floor skyscraper that is the symbol of modern Suzhou. Behind me is the tallest building in Suzhou, IFS. The CBD's design integrates skyscrapers, cultural facilities, and green spaces, creating a dynamic and holistic urban landscape that balances commercial, cultural, and environmental needs. And when it comes to the best blend of traditional and modern, you can't miss the famous Suzhou Museum. We are now at the Suzhou Museum. It showcases traditional Chinese art, culture, history. But the building itself is an amazing blend between modern and traditional architecture. The main hall was designed by Bei Leming, the same creative mind behind the iconic glass pyramid at the Louvre Museum in Paris, the Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong, and the JFK Library in Boston, among others. There's also the West Wing, an extension focuses on temporary exhibitions and cultural exchanges highlighting contemporary art and educational programs. Suzhou's 2,500 years of history is presented by its artifacts as well as its craftsmanship. Just a kindly reminder, don't forget to reserve your free slot a few days ahead of your journey. Suzhou cuisine is known for its sweet and light flavors. It includes a wide range of dishes like tender meats, fresh fish, and lots of vegetables. The cooking is often about bringing out the natural taste of these fresh ingredients. Suzhou is also famous for its delicious pastry and desserts, from crispy fried fish in a sweet and sour sauce to delicate soups and sweet retreats. The food here is not just tasty, but also a big part of the city's culture. While our video can only show you so much, Suzhou is a city best experienced firsthand. Come to Suzhou and see the mix of history and technology. Wander in the classical gardens and modern skyscrapers. Enjoy the street food and nightlife. In Suzhou, every step is a new adventure, with old and new sights all around. Leave a comment and subscribe if you would like to explore more cities with us. Here at Glopen, we discover the real China connecting the world. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.